Regen EV. We specialise in EV charging and today I want to explain the difference between the two types of chargers we have available for the Tesla vehicles, either the 3X or the X and the Y coming through. Right here we have the, the more cost effective alternative to the charging. Uh, this particular charger is provided within the sale of the vehicle and it is a portable charger and it can be taken wherever you, wherever you need. However, you can utilize this for permanent charging in your house uh, by installing a particular unit uh, like this. And this is called a, 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 a single phase 32 amp socket. <coughs> um, so with this particular unit, you can get seven kilowatts of power through a single phase, uh, which is as, you know, just as fast as say putting in a, um, a, a wall connector like so uh, on single phase. So, um, so this particular item will cost you $100 as opposed to $780 on the wall connector. So this is definitely value for money <coughs> and it does exactly the same job and it charges the cars at a beautiful rate. <coughs> um, so as you can see by the, the glowing lights there that we're, we're charging at the moment and we're getting the, the 32 amps required. Um, by, by installing this, this particular lead needs to be upgraded. Um, the two that are provided is a 10 amp and a 15 amp. Uh, however, if you go into this particular socket, then it requires a, a bigger lead um, and that is at an additional, additional cost, but it will actually slot into the top of the portable charger. Um, and then, as you can see, it, it's, um, it works perfectly, no heat, um, and a great safety device. This particular socket um, is uh, one that is of a safe nature, so once you plug this in, this actually locks, and it, it can't be turned off. Um, and uh, <coughs> so that's that's the socket. You could, um, you could probably put a pet pet lot on the site too, isn't it? And, this. and we have in the past we've we've been able to put this into a lockable device in a block of units um, because the obviously the units have multiple guests walking in out of uh, basement car parks. So what we did we installed that and then we put this into a, a lockable mm -hmm. type of unit so that can't be um, taken away. Mm -hmm. um, and then you p potentially could lock this device um, so that it can't be altered or, mm -hmm. or taken away. Mm -hmm. And it can't be turned on if you don't plug it in, is that yes, right? Yes, that's right. So mm -hmm. um, some mm -hmm. of the safety reasons, you can't be, uh, the little kitties come along um, and if this was all undone and it was exposed, it can't be turned on. So mm -hmm. it's, it's quite, a, okay. quite a safe mode. Now, yep. on the other hand, that is the Gen 2 and you get the Gen 3, which is a quite classy unit. This is the Gen 2, which is a robust type unit, great for the Tesla Xs. You get good speeds out of that in the three phase. You can get up to 22 kilowatts um, with this particular charger. And then the other, that's the other alternative, is the uh, the Gen 3, which is the newer version. And it um, will go up to 11 kilowatts for the um, for, for most of the, or for all of the vehicles. Um, mm -hmm. This will cost you 780 from mm -hmm. Tesla. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, mm -hmm. it's, as you can see, it's a, it's a, it's, mm -hmm. Single or single N3. Phase or three phase. Three phase. You get both versions. Yep. Yeah. Yep. You do need an isolator. It's, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. it's, it's a safety uh, requirement that that's uh, put into place. So we always put that close mm -hmm. to the unit. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, What's the benefit on the, the next gen? Uh, so the, the Gen 3 model. Yep. Uh, yep. The Gen 3 has a Wi Fi connectivity as well. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Tesla can actually update uh, any added features that they may potentially want to um, utilize within the in the charging mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and the gen 2 on the other hand doesn't have wi-fi connectivity however it um, has still the capabilities of being able to charge at quicker rates mm -hmm. for the tesla x mm -hmm. so um, and also it's more robust so you know the uh, in a public um, situation i think um, if this was to be damaged or anything this cover can actually be replaced and a new one put on there, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. uh, as opposed to the, the the Gen 3, it's a glass and it's all mm -hmm. combined into one unit. So mm -hmm. if it was damaged, 
you're potentially replacing the whole unit. Mm. So I think for outdoor use um, and in public areas, I think this particular model is the way mm. to go. Mm. So, um, so there's the two options. Excellent. Uh, cost effective, mm -hmm. very nice looking. Um, mm -hmm. However, you have uh, mm -hmm. options available. Mm -hmm. And both, if we were to do an install mm -hmm. of uh, these two particular items, mm -hmm. uh, a single phase version of these close to the switchboard over in, that's the switchboard, but if we had it mounted beside that, Mm -hmm. It would be uh, you will have a special price for special, uh, for, for the, the token uh, member. Token yeah, members. that's fine. Yeah, so how, how do people find you? Uh, so you can find me at www.regenev.com.au mm -hmm. um, or on the token members um, yep. uh, member directory. Member directory. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you. No <laughs>